Now, staying with that story, the process of identifying bodies burned beyond recognition in the Johannesburg CBD fire has begun. According to the Gauteng Health Department, Forensic Pathology Services will identify unidentified bodies with visible fingerprints using a digital fingerprint method. To discuss this further, we're joined by the Gauteng Health MEC, Nomanto Nkomo Ralehoko. Thank you so much for your time, MEC. We do appreciate it. I don't have much time, but I need to ask you how the process is going in the identification of bodies. We have our, our reporters on the ground saying that many families fear coming in to identify bodies in fear of being deported. Could you give us an update on what's actually going on? Evening, Heidi and the viewers at home. We have 62 unidentified reporters that we had in our mortuary in Tip Proof, and 12 have been identified. Nine families have claimed and identified their loved ones for now. Out of 12 who were identified, were, were identified, were identifiable because the others were, were not possible to be identified. But we have 12 at least that we have hope that these ones have been identified. And all the 62 bodies have now been stored at the proof forensic pathology services. And 40 families presented, at the, presented themselves at the tip proof FPS, and were happy about that number. And again, 66 line list of names were given because they were telling us that so-and-so has been in the building because that's what we want to know now. Who was there and you, are you aware of that person? It's your sister or it's your brother? So at least we have that, that group that came and 58 postmortems were done already were left with 16 bodies on track to conclude by sunday which means tomorrow will definitely conclude today we opened and tomorrow will open again that's mm -hmm. why we had that call that everybody must come and we have 43 dna samples that were done by subs to a victim identification center from 74 bodies that we had and 13 anti-mortem swapping that we are doing with the dna samples for families that are linking to the 23 that is unidentifiable bodies. And there will be a cross-referencing then of the DNA samples from the bodies and, and, and the anti-mortem samples taken from the families to link the two SOP and that match of the families with the loved ones. So the process it will take some time, but we're trying to speed it up because this is critical and we need to make sure that we have that hotline that we have been telling people about it, that people must contact us on the hotline, which is 0800-203-886. We have a direct line, and we have counseling that continues to be given to the families that come on site. And today we had a representation of people from Zimbabwe, uh, embassies and Malawi embassy, who visited the Deep Proof FPS to check the process, whether they are nationals from their countries. And yes, they are. So we're, 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 stuck, we're sitting at that now. And based on the families that came to report the missing loved ones so far, oh, 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 there is, there is, it's our South Africa. We had 10 when I was counting yesterday that was there with the list that was already in the mutual line there, in the mutual. And then we have Malawi with a high number and Tanzania with another number that is higher. Zimbabwe and Lesotho, the numbers are not high, but we have the citizens from those countries. Mm. What about uh, the process of the unidentified bodies? I know you said it's going to take some time, but what is the time frame mm. that we are looking at? I can imagine the difficulty given these bodies were burnt beyond recognition. Exactly, Heidi. The process that will make us delay a bit is because of that process that some of the bodies have been burned beyond repairs. But we are making sure that at least uh, SABS and our team are working very closely together because we want to push this because it's a sensitive issue that we need to make sure that it's done on time. Well, I, I didn't give the way, it was minister was there and myself yesterday, but we said to them, they must push as much as they can. Hence we said, let's open today so that we can start the process. Maybe after seven days, we can give you some good news, but this week the process is just for us to bring everybody on board. Those that says they, are, they know that so-and-so are staying in that flat, at least they must help us to have many people as much as we can from families. For example, if you have three Nomandu's ID, we need Nomandu's sister, Nomandu, and the other brother, if it's a brother, everybody must come from the family so that we can, whatever we are having, which it's not easy to identify, we're able to match those DNA tests, the results, and the, and the samples that we'll be taking to quite a number of people. So we don't want to rely on one person. Hence our call was everybody must come and assist us.
Okay, fantastic. I, I wish I had some more time, but that uh, gives you a summary of what's actually going on. Thank you so much for your time this evening. That is Gauteng Health MEC Nomanto Nkomo Ralehoko giving us an update in terms of those bodies um, that need to be identified. You can imagine how difficult it must be.